Um, wait, why can't I just go to the stage? Where is this? Oh. Okay. Oh yeah, because yeah, that's the stage I unlocked. That's really weird how they allow you to do that before the main stages. Uh, that's weird. I'm not sure how to feel about that. Um. Oh man, look how bright that is. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't really know what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll show off the not the HD version of that sequence and then show the Wii version later, but I... Oh, it's gonna be so weird. I'm sorry in advance um, if it feels weird in editing, but I can't really do much about that. Um, I, I would sync them up better if I could, but the games just aren't really like, allowing me to do that. Either way, um, just talk to some more villagers. Um, and as you may or may not know, I mean, I've, I've probably made it pretty obvious by now, but snow levels, some of my favorites. Um, and this, Alaska is no exception. Um, I really have nothing to say about um, these village hubs at this point. Right. I understand that they probably couldn't like give us the actual hub worlds, um, but eh. I don't think this is really. Honestly, I, I would have rather had nothing and just gone straight to the guy gates than um, had this. Because it's. You're not really doing anything interesting. Like, you're talking to people, I guess, which is fine on the surface, but. It's not really engaging. At least with the. With the HD one, um, one of the reasons why I like it so much is that. You get to take in your surroundings, um, find items like the Sun and Moon medals. Um, you eventually find power missions, and you can just talk to people at your own leisure. And you're never forced to do that. And it just they, the hubs also just just look visually gorgeous every time um, with some some good peaceful music and all that. Whereas in the Wii version, you're kind of just forced to just go through a bunch of text just to play the stages and it's not really it's not really engaging um okay <laughs> let's freak out a little bit more shall we either way though uh one thing that is kind of weird i guess uh it, it doesn't really mean anything but i think avatos is the only guy gate that lets you play as regular sonic in the like main Hall, I guess. Um, it doesn't really mean much because you spend like 10 you seconds in that main room anyway, so like who cares? But, um, if you press the feet, you can yeah, use so that stop. Is that actually correct for this controller? It's like, no, it's white. <laughs> you should lie to me. No problem. How could you do this? Yeah, it's white for the classic controller. Um, God, I wish... I kind of wish I could just use the classic controller on its own. I wish I didn't have to awkwardly, like, have the Wii remote, like, to the side somewhere while using it. It's a little bit awkward. Here we... Could be better. Go! Okay, either way, though, this is a cool edge day. Um, I can go back and forth whether I prefer this or the HD version of the stage. Because um, they're both really good. These are both some of my favourite levels in Unleashed. Um, this one starts off with a pretty good box leg section, um, you can... I think the best way to move around, or like, make sharp turns is to basically just spam the drip on. Cause like, when you hold it down like that, it just doesn't really work too well, so... Spamming drip is quite a bit better. Um, but... Yeah, there's nothing too, like, difficult here. 
do a bunch of rings to level up the um, boost. Um, and really wide sections of space here. Um, and it's not, yeah, this little close section as well. Like, it's not really, I wouldn't say it's really pushing the Wii um, or anything like that because. Again, this version is going for the PS2 as well, and it needs to be able to run on that. And this is only a little bit better looking. Um, but even even for like even by that, I still I would still say that this looks pretty impressive. Um, and I like how you go like midway through, and then you're suddenly in like a ice cave, kind of similar to um, what is it, ice cap? Act 2, I believe, from Sonic and Sonic 3, um, which is pretty cool, um, it's a nice little reference to that, even if it's, it may not be intended as one, but either way it's still a nice, um, sequence of the level, in, uh, anyway, and it's actually absent from the whole Wii one, this is something that's unique to the Wii version, and I find that really cool, it makes this level stand out, um, from the HP counterpart, and, yeah, it, it's just some good stuff overall, and the music as well, like, this is one of my favourite themes in the, in the game, it's like, I laugh just like how other day stages are, it's very nice, it's very fast paced, it just keeps your blood pumping and whatnot, and it's just a good ice theme in general, um, and this is really no prayer at all. Um, yeah, like I said, the Wii version is quite a... Okay. Uh, whatever. <laughs> like I said, the Wii version is fairly easy compared to the HD counterpart. Uh, I wouldn't call it, like, my number one simple or anything like that. Um, and I honestly do think this would be one of the best starting games. Uh, starting Sonic sort of games to play, if you're, like, a new fan or something. I mean, you've like never played any of the games before. As weird as this might sound, <laughs> besides this, I would actually say Sonic Forces <laughs> is actually a decent starting point, mainly for the fact that um, it doesn't really ask too much from the player. Oh, hello, camera. You good? <laughs> Alright then. I'm fairly certain we, we missed like one or two items there, but it's okay. It's okay. Um, yeah, I would, I would say forces because it's very easy, straightforward, and um, it doesn't really ask that much. Um, although with the caveat of the controls not always feeling too good, so um, the other option I would say would be Unleashed Wii. Because it's also a fairly simple, well not simple, but it's it's a lot easier than the other boost games overall, I'd say. Um, and I'd say that it, hmm, how do I say this? I'd say that it introduces the player to the boost mechanics and whatnot um, at a more comfortable pace than like Unleashed HD or I don't know about colours, maybe colours, but I'm not sure about that. Uh, but definitely more than... I'd say it is even better than um, Generation Stars. Um, so... I will say that I, I do think that this is a pretty easy starting point. Um, in terms of getting into the series. Mainly in terms of accessibility. Um, because like... I because I the, the thing is like you can say oh the classics would be the best way to get into it but you have to think about how how other people um not necessarily play games but um say like someone is used to like normal platforms like Mario and whatnot um, if you just abruptly send them headfirst into a Sonic game, they're gonna probably feel overwhelmed because, like, the those games are, like, nothing like many other platformers. Um, and, like, most of us, like, we can play those games no problem because we're used to them, after them, but 
then have to learn a bunch of new stuff right off, right from the get-go. Get and then, those games aren't exactly beginner-friendly, <laughs> let's be honest. Um, so I, as much as I love the classics, and Sonic Mania is like great, those are not good starting points, if I'll be honest with you. Like, I, I think those would be way too overwhelming for a first-time player. Um, so, yeah, it, I honestly do think that this is a fairly good beginner game. Hey, whether, whether or not it's a good first impression in general is up to you, but, um, hmm. I, 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 it's just something I've been thinking about lately, um, because it's really hard to pinpoint what would constitute as a, as a good, um, whatchamacallit, constitute as a good, um, starting point for, like, getting someone into the series, you know? Um, like, it doesn't, like, I, I don't know, I guess it doesn't matter too much now, I don't, I don't even know what I'm trying to say, to be honest, um, because I, in general, Sonic is already kind of a... Actually, no, I'll just do the extra day stages first and then go through the door. Um, Sonic already is kind of a acquired taste as, as it is. Um, and I feel like trying to get new people into the series now is kind of difficult. Um, but still, I can't, it is still worth thinking about, like, what would be a good starting point. Um, I, don't, I, I may have already asked this before, I don't remember, that's the problem with um, having to record these weeks uh, later. Um, I don't remember anything I said, but if you guys have any like thoughts on what would be a good starting point, uh, let me know down in the comments, because I, I've kind of been thinking about this for quite some time, and um, yeah, the listen and as much as I hate to say that, um, uh, honestly, some of the- I- oh, yeah, okay, I saw that eye attack right there. Um, I think some of the, um, best ways to introduce someone- not necessarily into- I'm- let me be clear here. I'm not saying in terms of, oh, so these are the best games in the series and you should play these first because they give you a good, um, what is it? Uh, appreciation for the series or whatever. Um, at least we, I, I, I do like this game a lot, um, not just the HD one, but, um, it's, I'd, personally for me, if someone introduced me to the series with one mode, I'd personally be pretty sa satisfied with it, I can't say that for every, like, random Joe, though, so I can't say how good that would be for anyone else, uh, it's okay. um, Whereas the forces, I'm mainly just saying that because of how easy it is. If it was, if it was to do with actual game quality, then I'd, I, I'd tell them to stay far away from that game. But that's another, that's another topic entirely. Give away there. You get some secret documents. Um, I still got more missions to do. Oh boy. Yeah, at least, even though... Oh god, is this the whole stage? I think it might be actually. That's a bit boring, but we can, we can make, make do with this. I like this little, like, half pipe kind of section here. Like, you can... Get, getting, getting the uh, dash panels through that is just really satisfying. Oh, okay, I, I remember these types of missions now. Okay, so some missions in the Wii version give you like... Actually, you know what the, it, this reminds me of? Um, the um, time attack missions in Galaxy 2, um, where you... Uh, s some of them have it so you have a really s small time limit, and you have to keep getting clocks to extend it. Um, this is essentially the same thing, you're just going through, like, side point gates and stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I, I want to get there, I'm sorry. I know I said it doesn't matter, but 
If I see an item, I want to get it. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but... Here we yeah, hey. Go! It's just, it's just essentially like Galaxy 2's, um, time, pranks to plummet thing, whatever it is. Um, where you have to, like, get tired the clocks and whatnot. I, I, and I do enjoy this type of time attack more than just, oh, get to the end of the time limit, which, I mean, depending, like, if it's a, if it's a fairly strict time limit and you feel like you need to rush, then I guess it's fine. Um, the problem with, um, a lot of time trial stuff, um, is that they tend to give you, give you way more time than you really need. Um, I guess it's too broad of a statement. I mean, there's... Hmm. I, I guess... I, mean, I forgot about this thing again, sorry. <laughs> I'm bad. Um, that, that's really tight too. That's like missing a box in a motorcycle level. Um, yeah, I don't know where I was going with that statement. Um, Here we I guess there's a difference between, like, um, having, like, different tiers of time trial rewards, like, in Crash, um, and then just having, like, the one reward for, like, the star in, like, Galaxy 1 or something. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't really know where I was going with this, to be honest, but either way, um, I do find, like, the like this kind of method of time trial is more engaging because you you're trying to rush through the stage I can't talk you're trying to rush through the stage while it's at the same time um, trying to um, collect these like time bonus bonus things um, to like okay, there we go uh, try, try to uh, make the clock last longer and whatnot um, oh sweet okay I thought that was way longer than that. Um, never mind. But... Yeah, I, I just find that more engaging. Because you're looking for things... Well, at the same time... Trying to rush. Um, and... I, I don't know, I find that rather enjoyable, so... Let's go back to the guy gates. Okay, so you can still just have this one. That's fine. Um, one thing that I don't think I've mentioned yet about these guy gates is that they're the only parts of the game where... Uh, uh, this version anyway. Oh, hey. <laughs> that was easy. Um, it's the only part of the Wii version, I believe, where you actually get to play as both Werehog and Sonic to, like, use them in tandem with each other to, like, figure out puzzles to get the items and whatnot. And I find that really cool. Um, the, um, hub worlds in the stage hubs in the HD version do this as well, uh, but it is admittedly a bit more, um, time-consuming because because of the load times. Um, so the fact that you can, the fact that you end up switching between the two seem, so seamlessly in this makes it a lot more, I don't know, easier to, uh, it, it makes it more engaging, I guess, like less time wasty and whatnot. Um, I suppose it has the benefit of not having to switch the whole area to a day, and, day or a night um, version. Cause you're literally just, turning into Sonic or back to the Werehog, um, and then you're still in the same area. It doesn't need to load anything, um, but either way, um, I'm going to check the other guy gates like, like last time, see if there's any more doors to go through. If not, then I'll see you guys for Holoska Day on the HD one. Oh man. <laughs> this place is so gorgeous, dude. Oh, yes. I know... Oh, hey. How you doing?
<laughs> so yeah, we uh, see uh, we saw Wentos the second time, so that's cool. Um, I forget how many times it takes before you can actually like buy stuff in his shop or whatever, but um, he does have really rare stuff, and um, the stuff he does have, I believe, is um, a lot cheaper than you what you would find in stores. So it is beneficial to uh, find them. And just this is yeah, this is one of the smaller hubs in the game, but just look at how detailed the snow is, all the like the ice uh, textures and whatnot, like. Dude, <laughs> this is ridiculous. Need to remind you that this was made in 2008. Wait. They were really pushing the system's boundaries, and I, I know I keep on bringing that, like, saying that kind of thing, but it's true, like, these game, or this game is gorgeous every, like, every way you look. Um, and I, I just can't get enough of it really, like, no matter how many times I replay this game or how many times I see it, I never get tired of the visuals, um, and, dude, you just, you just can't go wrong uh, with Unleashed graphics, um, so yeah, I'll just talk to these guys real quick, yeah, who am I, <laughs> you tell me. Yeah, I don't like I like how cartoon characters can just have nothing on in like freezing cold weather or what what have you and just be perfectly fine. <laughs> Kind of expression is that. Also, you might be wondering about my crazy high ring count. Well, something I tried doing um, off screen is go, is go through the hot dog missions, and quite frankly, I just kind of lost interest like midway through Missouri because it's just like I've been saying, you basically just go through the stages over and over again, and it's just like, oh, kill like 10 enemies or something, which would would be fine if, um, for starters, the stage ended as soon as you've reached that goal, but no, you have to reach the end of the stage every time. Um, and then there's the fact that there's three levels for each type of mission, and you have to do all of them if you want to, like, do everything. Um, like, you need to do levels one and two to reach level three. You can't just do level three immediately, which I find really stupid, honestly. Um, if you could, if you could just do the hardest level, and then that could just count in for everything, um, and like you didn't need to do the lower levels, that would have made it fine. It would still be kind of uh, silly to play the levels again with like barely anything different, if at all. <laughs> um, uh, but at least you'd still just be able be able to just do the the hardest version, and that'll be it. I'm probably I feel like I've talked about this already, but. It's relevant to talk about it again here because, you know, I just tried doing them earlier. Um, but yeah, they really aren't too worth it. I'm, I might go back and do like the level one stuff for the ones I, for the stages I didn't do, just so I have a full stage clear list on the um, world map. But besides that, I don't think I'm gonna bother. Um, that being said, though. Because I have, I've done so much of that, I now have a ridiculous amount of uh, XP, and I may as well use a lot of it. Um, level this up. I know I should be leveling up the Werehog, but I do have 
a lot of, uh, uh, let's just, just do that now actually. I do have a lot of uh, food to eat, so that should give us a lot more XP as well, so we'll be all good. Okay, so life I guess, I don't know. But yeah, we'll just go to inventory real quick. Um, can I not eat in the, oh, that's stupid. Why can't you eat in the stage hub? That is... Yeah, I, I don't... I don't get that. Oh well. So we just do this. Give it to Sonic. 1 XP. But if you give it to Chip... <laughs> he just curses at you. That, that That's amazing, I love that. I love the little dialogue that um, Chip gives you. Like, depending on like what you... Make him eat. It's also just good for characterization as well. Um, because like... It gives you a lot more dialogue with Chip. And um, yeah, you can't go wrong with that. Let's give this Chip. I think he'll give you like... After a while he'll, he'll like give you a general comment about things as well. Uh, if you feed him enough, um, but yeah, the hot, the, uh, hot dogs from the, um, hot dog missions give you the most XP out of anything in the game, or any food in the game, I should say, um, so, I guess if you're hungry for experience, then I guess they're worth it in that sense, but at the same time, chili dogs do, like, 30 XP anyway, which is still a decent amount, as it is. So I don't really see much of a reason to do the hot dog missions other than I achievement grinding or that's about it really. <laughs> There's no other real reason to do that to do them besides that because it's not like you really get anything get anything special from it, doing them. So if you ask me like that's one area of this game that I will admit kind of falls flat, like the hot dog, hot dog missions, you could remove them from the game and no one would really miss them, to be honest with you, like, I, I don't really care for them too much, um, I don't think they ruin the game or anything, like, they're really easy to ignore, but, I, I just, like, if they were going to be there at, at all, I'd prefer them to at least be fulfilling, and they just aren't. Um, but, eh, it is what it is. Again, it's harmless at worst, so... What are you gonna do, eh? I think... I don't think I can really do much up here. Yeah, because all this is locked. Um, so we'll just do the regular stage first. Um, so that's all cool. Yeah, funny ice puns. Woo. <laughs> I didn't intend for that, but either way. I guess one thing to make mention of is that the um, the numbers you see above like stages aren't just for show. They do actually mean something. Uh, basically, what it's telling you is like, Pingus! Look at the Pingus. <laughs> Love the Pingus. Let me, let me get a good view of them. Stop falling off. Yay. <laughs> Wee flap flappies. I love them. <laughs> Anyways. Um yeah, the number indicates what um medal count what level your medal count needs to be at because on the if you look on the world map or in in hub worlds in, in general really, there's like there'll be your Sun and Moon medals and a level. Um, basically, your your medal count just needs to be at a certain level to reach the um, like those specific types of stages. Like this, this stage required like level two Sun medals, basically. And um, yeah, that'll basically just tell you what you need. So keep that in mind. Yeah, we just went from the Wii version of the stage, and now we're playing the um, HD one. And Good lord, this is gorgeous, like, again with the ice, the, um, just the art, the, just the detail in the background, just everything, really. 
And the, the fact that, like... What is it? The fact that you die and fall into the water, that's also pretty good. Um, but yeah, I, I just remember seeing the stage for the first time years, like years back when this game was new and just being blown away by it. Um, like, the, the amount of detail that gets put into boost game, the boost games, especially Unleashed, is like almost unparalleled um, from like stuff I've seen in games. And like just imagining like having to put all this detail in like all these areas that people will probably blaze for in a couple of seconds is crazy because like you have to you have to think about the um, developers and whatnot. Like people probably like some random uh, creator worked on like this of like a random hallway or something for like multiple weeks, and then just just to have like someone blaze for it in like the span of a few seconds. Um, and like I don't like the the um, amount of budget it must take to make boost games is I'd imagine pretty pretty crazy, especially when you have it have it with such crazy like high detail like this. Like, have all the, um, ice, like, collapses and falls around, um, in a realistic fashion and whatnot. I see that there. Let's just grab that real quick. Like this little, I like, I like this little ice, ice cave section as well. Um, I, I keep on hearing, like, all of these. Dude, I'm not usually this bad. <laughs> and then there's this too, like, this is a really cool set piece. Like, the pop-in could... I could do without the pop-in, but, like, there's this whole section of where you go around the, um, the ocean with everything falling, uh, breaking apart in the background. Um, like, if there's one thing I can give, um, Unleashed over like really any other Sonic game is just a sense of scale and spectacle. Because um, like, I've heard the whole t this term flowing around quite a bit when it comes to specific Sonic games, and it is um, spectacle platformer. Um, and I can definitely see where they're coming from with Unleashed. Like Unleashed is like pure eye candy <laughs> in a lot of ways. Um, and it never really stops being like that. Like, everywhere you look, there's just always stuff going on. There's always um, cool attention to detail. There's always just something in general to keep your eyes busy and um, excited, basically. And, um, okay, that is actually a fairly difficult ramp to land, so that, that was good. Um, Yeah, it's just good stuff all around. Um, this, I will say, of the, the of the two versions, this has more. Okay, this section is actually fairly difficult. I have no idea how you're supposed to dodge that guy. Um, yeah, I'd say this version for Holoska has more variety, um, but I do. I will say that um, I do really like the underground section in the Wii version. And there's a, I guess there is that little cave um, area early on that we went through, but that was nowhere near as involved as the, as the um, underground part of the Wii one. Um, but I, yeah, I, I probably rank this one higher than the Wii one, even though the Wii one is still a really good stage too. Um, they're both up there for the for in terms of day stages for me. Um, but yeah, the, both of them are just so beautiful. <laughs> Not if I have anything to say about it. We still got extra stages to do, my boy. <laughs> oh god. Um, I don't know where I'd rank them as like my favorite day stages overall, but um, 
I, I would definitely say that the, um, they're, they're definitely up there. They're definitely um, some of my favorite um, eye stages in Sonic, um, and I, I, I would have picked this as. Oh wait, we need the wall jump. Damn it! <laughs> I, I definitely picked this as one of the stages for uh, generations, but oh well. It is what it is. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to get up here like that. <laughs> Damn it, no! <laughs> that was bad. Now I can't get up there. Uh, that's, that's fine. Let's just do this. And the music as well is just amazing. Um, and just <laughs> Again with the pingus. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, look at all of them! Woo! Okay, so I remember this one actually being fairly difficult. Um, it's nowhere near as difficult as a DLC variant of the stage, but it's essentially like one of those um, lap levels where you go around the same area a few times and it gets progressively more difficult each time. Um, this is one of those uh, where it's not too crazy now, but as we... Oh, okay. I'm trying to get all the items. Um, as we keep going, it's gonna have more and more obstacles, and we're gonna have to be a bit more careful each time. Um, I don't mind these, um, I actually kind of... <laughs> I actually really enjoy these, um, types of levels, because, um, it, I'd imagine it's fairly easy on the developers, because they don't need to make so much, um, they don't need to... Oh my god, I'm scaring myself. They don't need to make a lot of, um... Sorry, I'm trying to not die. <laughs> um... It's not easy to commentate over this game because there's so much going on at once and I need to, like, actually focus. Um... Yeah, I, I really do like these types of stages because it gives you a good sense of, sense of challenge. Um... <laughs> and um, it's easier on the de developers because they don't need to make a bunch of space, I guess. They can just reuse the same areas and just make it harder and harder. Look at the dancing penguins, I'm sorry. I was just, I was just um, looking at the uh, dancing penguins. Look at them. They're adorable. Um, so that being said, I, I don't know if we can access Act 3 because we need the wall jump, I think. Unless we can, like, use that robot to cheese it. Um, yeah, okay. Tough. Come on. We can, oh, okay. Good. Well, that was a waste. Yeah, we're definitely not supposed to do that. But is there anything up here that's worth caring about? Whoa, okay, okay. Whoa, okay. Yeah, there's one thing I will say is that um, this is this is definitely no adventure control. Um, controlling Sonic in an open space like this and trying to explore isn't exactly ideal, um, because, you know, Unleash's main, uh, point is, you know, speed, um, and when it gets out of that comfort zone, it doesn't always work the greatest, um, like, if, if these, um, hub worlds were in, okay, if they were in, like, Adventure 1 or 2, they'd feel a lot better to, uh, explore, or, like, the controls wouldn't feel like they're fighting you as much, um, as it can in this game a lot of the time. Um, like, design-wise, the, these are great. Oh. Okay. I didn't expect you to make me fly that high. Alright. Um. Dude, what the hell? Uh. What? Okay? I've never seen that happen before. Um. 
<laughs> you know, I, I, I love the design of these hearts, but... Um, Unle Unleashed is definitely not built for exploration, I'll admit. Or like this kind of exploration, I should I should say. There's like nothing up there. What the hell? I swear there's an act three, right? There is one. Isn't there? Am I just going? Am I just going crazy? What the hell? Oh, I got a medal. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna assume that there isn't. Um. That was just rings up there. Nothing over there. I mean, did, did I get that medal? Let me go back and check. Yeah. Okay, so... It's gonna be for the Werehog. I guess we just... I guess we just don't have an Act 3. Hmm. We also lost two random uh, lies because reasons. <laughs> hey, buddy, I'm not doing. I'm not doing your mission. Screw you. Just buy two of these, I guess. Um. Okay, so, um, I don't think I mentioned this yet, but, uh, what is it? Um, there's, like, three continents that have, like, special, um, like, CG cutscenes you have with Chip. Um, and I think you unlock them by giving Chip a bunch of, of a specific food on a continent. Um, yeah. Uh... Yeah, I, I don't know how long that takes, but yeah, that's something that we'll have to get, get at some point. But yeah, you see the level fives on the side there. 